the only evidence-based concussion preventive tackling technique on earth, was born at UCLA in 1978. First down, Cal, as Campbell is back. The ball is at the 35-yard line. Campbell gives it to the fullback, Jones, and Paul breaks out of there. Hosea is across to help on the tackle with Kenny Easley. You want to teach young kids how to tackle. That's how you tackle chest to chest. You wrap them up. You drive your feet through. You roll your hips. Clinic. 43 years ago in 1978, I assisted my Bruin teammate and future three-time consensus All-American and NFL Hall of Famer Kenny Easley to bring down Cal Bear fullback Paul Jones, executing the Hosea method before it ever got its name. South and West San Francisco, East there is Oakland, North Berkeley, and that's where we are. That's the place to be in the Bay Area on this particular Saturday afternoon, right down in Old Strawberry Canyon, as the Bears of California host the Bruins of UCLA. And this is a football relationship that goes back to 1933, dominated first with the Golden Bears, but over the last couple of decades, it's been pretty much a UCLA party. Last year, the Bruins won it 21 to 19 in Los Angeles. Your secondary people, Johnny Lynn at corner, Bobby Hosea at corner, and the safeties, Mike Molina, the strong safety, and Kenny Easley, the free safety for Terry Donahue's UCLA Bruins. Breaking downfield, that is the tenth interception by the Bruins. Third and ten. Down the sidelines. Intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Hosea. Now it's time to go to the record book. It's nine turnovers for California. The seventh interception. UCLA had ten coming into the game. Anderson just throws it up. He's forcing it against the two-deep zone, and Hosea plays the position perfectly by moving over right in front of the receiver and intercepting the pass. Intended for John Williams coming out of the back. It is at the Montreal 50-yard line, first down, Alouette. downstairs to Bill Stevenson. The UCLA and former Montreal Alouette, as you said, Mike, having himself twice, an afternoon Bobby Jose. How did you figure out that interception? Well, we were in a cover three where I had a short, short, short flat area, and you see the white shoes, and I just read it and jumped in front of it. Beautiful reading. Well, thank you very much. We're going to all-time practice, so finally pays off. Thank you, Bobby Jose. Thank you. to the Alouettes. Overstreet. Well, he may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage not much further. Robinson was there, and so too was Jose again. Bill Norton, number 69, is the guard who pulls out. Watch again, 35, Bobby Jose with his containment. He won't get into Norton. He won't let Norton get in him. He's, he strings it out and strings it out. He can't come around. As a result, he gets help from the inside. And Jose's playing that corner extremely well. <laughs> Words of wisdom. Second down, 11. Here's the pass play. And there it is. Over to number 43, Edward. Takes away. Takes one tackle and is hauled down on his 38-yard line by Bobby Hosea. Carnell, ball. And the freshman cannot turn the corner. Hosea making the stop. 
First down, Cal, as Campbell is back. The ball is at the 35-yard line. Campbell gives it to the fullback, Jones. Ball breaks out with a minute 18 to play as Hosea is across to help on the tackle with Kenny Easley. If you want to teach young kids how to tackle, that's how you tackle chest to chest. You wrap them up, you drive your feet through, you roll your hips. Clinic. Science and Technology In 2011, ET Science, a.k.a. K2 Sciences, combined their ingenuity with Rydell's helmet sensor technology, validating the evidence-based Hosea method as the only concussion preventive tackling technique of its kind on Earth. Hi, my name is Coach Bobby Hosea. I'm the founder of Train Em Up Academy, and I'm also the creator of the Dip and Rip Sticks 12-step tackle progression. Uh, it keeps the head out of the tackle. The number one thing about football is brain injuries. It's really serious, and we've got to figure out a way to keep our head out of the collision, and I think I've done that with my system of training. I think optimum hip position, where your knees are bent, your waist is at a 45-degree angle, and you rip your arms upward, knuckles up, elbow down, you will accelerate the hips and the hips will control the head and it will walk away from the oncoming ball carrier. I've done this since 1997. I've been very fortunate never to lose a player to a self-inflicted head injury. That means that the player initiated contact with his head. And it is the technique that does it. When you wrap, the traditional wrap technique causes your hips to go back and your head to go down. It's physics. Ours is ripping, knuckles up, elbows down, causes your hips to, to accelerate forward and your head to rock away, up and away from the ball carrier. That is what we've done today, and hopefully uh, it'll change the world in terms of limiting injuries and uh, make the game of football safer. Because it is America's game, it's a great game, but it is a dangerous game, and we have to play it more intelligently. We play with our mind, not with our head. All right, well, what we did here today was we used uh, this helmet instrumented with eight accelerometers to determine the uh, G-force of the impact. And what we're demonstrating here is that uh, with the, uh, the rip and shoot method that it removes the head out of the tackling technique here and minimizes the impact, hopefully to prevent concussions. And uh, so with our instrumentation from the helmet, inside, outside, and on the bags, we were able to demonstrate that. And so uh, that's the next step is analyzing the data here. And uh, yeah, uh, is it? Bobby's working with us with one of his uh, athletes, and uh, so we had a good show in here, and appreciate all the work. So, excellent. USC, UCLA, working together. <laughs> Instructing players to just keep their head up is no longer enough. And coming soon, my helmet-free tackle safety and performance training course to educate parents, players, and coaches on how to play safe, effective tackle football and reduce the risk of concussions, neck, and spinal cord injuries. To save our game one player at a time.